Now again, I can't emphasize this enough. This is the best method I have found to study and keep myself focused. It'll actually revolutionize your CCNA, CCMP studies. <clears throat> Are you having trouble studying and staying focused? Uh, if I can do it, you can do it. What's going on guys? Uh, welcome back to Network Chuck. Thanks for sticking with me. I know the videos have been kind of few and far between, so I appreciate you subscribing. I promise I'm gonna try and make more videos. So let's get to it. So how do you stop procrastinating and study for your CCNA or CCMP, MCSA, or whatever you're doing? In this video, we're gonna be talking about that. Now, distractions are a way of life. As you can see, my kids, now they're not always hitting me in the head with a, a spatula, but sometimes they are, to be honest. And that's just how it is. And then also getting home from work and, and being tired. I mean, there's honestly nothing better than getting home from a long day at the office and just plopping on the couch and watching TV. Am I right? I mean, seriously, binging Netflix is seriously one of the best things ever. Speaking of which, no affiliate or endorsement, but have you seen Iron Fist? Incredible, but don't watch it, go study instead. I'm actually avoiding it right now to make this video avoiding procrastination right now. So yeah, you get up from work and you've already spent most of your intellectual energy on meetings and and design and and, and troubleshooting. You're, you're exhausted. So how in the world do you muster up the strength to study? Uh, sometimes it's great, sometimes it's not. How do you do this and, and, and avoid the temptations to play video games or just do nothing? This is something I struggle with every single day. Sometimes you can kind of brute force your way into studying. I'll usually start the process on my commute home. My commute's about an hour. That's one way. Uh, so that's two hours a day in the car. So I'll start my planning when I get home. Usually on my way home, I'm planning how to relax and what I'm going to eat for dinner. But uh, if I want to study, I have to start like coaching myself. But most commutes home, I have an hour to convince myself to study, but also talk myself out of it. So most evenings I've already convinced myself that, you know what, I can study tomorrow. I can start tomorrow. Oh my gosh, starting tomorrow. That is the worst phrase for productivity. Don't do it. So again, most evenings I've already convinced myself that I need to find out what Walter and Jesse are up to. So I need to get home and just relax. But sometimes I, I do brute force it and I can study, but that's rare. To avoid this dilemma, I start telling myself I, I need to study and it, and it won't be that bad. I remind myself of why I'm doing this. You know, I want to advance my career. I want to make a better life for my family. All very important things, but when you're tired, it's hard to kind of believe those. But like all brute force attacks, most are ineffective and a poor use of energy. This strategy rarely works and actually often leaves me more tired than uh, than I should be. Now, another very, very effective technique, the Pomodoro technique. If you, uh, if you watch my seven CCNA, CCMP study tips for the new year, um, you'll remember I mentioned this uh, timer as a study tool to uh, help you study. So I'll go more into how this technique is incredible for studying. It's really going to help you get your CCNA or CCMP or what have you. It's really helped me in the past and it's helping me right now. So what, what is the Pomodoro technique? Well, basically it's centered around uh, focused study sessions. So you divide your study sessions into uh, 20 to 25 minute focused, uninterrupted, no distraction sessions. And that's it. And you'll use a timer um, to keep yourself focused. Could be a, a specific Pomodoro timer. Um, and you set the timer, 25 minutes goes by, you stop, you take a break. Now again, I can't emphasize this enough. This is the best method I have found to study and keep myself focused. It'll actually revolutionize your CCNA, CCMP studies. In fact, I'm actually using it right now to make this video, so productivity. <laughs> now, don't limit yourself on just study. You can use this technique at work, and I've just started doing this, and it's, it's pretty good. Um, I have to admit, being a network admin and being a support role and a, and a design role, it, it can be effective when I'm like working on a project, um, but when you're in an environment where you have constant interruptions, uh, people coming to your desk, help desk escalations, it's, it's hard to use this method, I'll have to admit. But you can try to use it and it might help you out a little bit. So, how do you stop procrastinating and really use this technique to focus on your CCNA, CCMP study so you can knock out that cert? I got some steps for you. So step one, pick one study task to work on. I say this because there's a lot of tasks or methods you can use to study for your CCNA. Um, you can do labs, you can do videos, you can read a, a book, um, and I want you to pick just one method at a time to study. And, and please don't try to multitask. 
Multitasking does not work. This technique is to help you focus on one task, do it to the best of your ability. It's going to help your productivity, I promise. So picking your task, it could be reading a few pages in your book, you know, while taking notes. It could be watching a, a INE video or a CBT video. Um, it could be doing a lab. So th there's different things, but pick one medium, focus on that. So step two, only do this task, work on this task for 25 minutes and then stop. So what you'll do is you'll use a timer, like an egg timer. You can even use a, a stove timer um, or use your phone. I find that using my phone is a little bit better because if I dedicate my phone to uh, the timer, then I'm not gonna use my phone to check Facebook or Twitter or whatever. So you can use whatever. Um, I use an app called Be Focused. It's, a, it's on the iPhone. It's probably on Android, I'm, I'm not sure. It's, it's free um, to a point. Um, and it's kind of Pomodoro focused, so it'll like keep track of your sessions. It's, it's kind of cool. I'll put the links to the different apps you can use that are available on Android, iPhone, or, or PC and, and Mac. Um, go to my website, Network Chuck, and uh, I'll list it in the uh, latest post. So during this 25 minute session, again, and try to stay as focused as you can on this task and eliminate distractions until that timer goes off. Now this can be difficult when you have kids. Um, see my trying to study with kids post, my, my last one. So do your best and, and don't beat yourself up. Not every 25 minute session is going to be perfect. I have found myself pressing pause because you can press pause on some of these or just abandoning my 25 minute session because the kids just they did something. Or they're, they're attacking each other and I have to break up a fight. Now here's a very important one and uh, I have to thank Thomas Frank from uh, uh, collegeinfogeek.com. His post on this is great but during that 25 minute session if anything were to pop into your brain a distraction or like oh I, I need to do this or I need to do that don't do it. Instead of putting any energy or thought into that task or, or whatever is distracting you write it down. Just write it down. So if you think of anything else you got to do at that moment or anything you want to do, it really does help to write it down and then put it out of your mind. Your only job during that 25 minute session is to study on that task at hand. Just that, that's it. Now, when studying for your CCNA, CCMP, you know, it's, it's a lot of theory and then hands-on. And I find myself, when I'm studying, I'll learn a concept. And before I even finish the video, I'll be too excited, so I wanna lab it up and try it real quick. Well, that's good to kind of solidify that concept in your brain. Um, it's not best for productivity because I'll kind of just go off in another direction, start playing. It might not work the first time. Then I'll end up spending a lot of time on the lab. So focus on your task. Only focus on finishing that video. Only focus on um, finishing those few pages or something. So if there's a concept you know you want to lab up in GNS3 um, after the video or after those pages, write it down and reserve it for your lab session. Res reserve it for your 25 minute lab session. Now another temptation for guys who are already in the field is you have to fight the urge to log into your work equipment and check something. Because I know when I'm learning new concepts that apply to what I do uh, currently, I might learn something that I'm like, oh wow, uh, I wonder if I can apply that to my current job or maybe this will fix an issue I was working on uh, the day before. So I'll be tempted to log in and, uh, and actually look at my work equipment and look at configurations and kind of spend some time there. Don't do this. It totally derails my study time, totally derails it. And oftentimes, when I get really into it, I'll spend the rest of the evening just working. And there goes study. Now, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of reinforcing things, but once you get into work and you may be focusing on that one topic, but then you kind of go from here to there to there, and before you know it, you're checking, you're slogging through email. So just write it down and save it for the next work day. So step four, last step, um, after your 25 minute session, after that timer goes off, take a five minute break. This is where you kinda, and I, I mentioned this in my seven uh, CCNA, CCMP study tip video, um, but this is where you get to reward yourself for your hard work. During that five minutes, you wanna take some time to stretch, grab a snack, use the bathroom. Very, very important that you step away from your study session, from your study area. You wanna get away, take your mind, and focus on something else. You need that mental break, that mental separation. And after your five minute break, jump right back into your 20 another 25 minute session and uh, you'll do that three more times so four times total so you pick your task study for 25 minutes be sure and write your stuff down that's distracting you and then take your five minute break four times total now after your fourth time this is when you get to really reward yourself and take a longer break now typical method is to take about a 20 to 25 minute break I tend to make that longer because uh, I might have to like attend to family stuff I, I may wish want to take a longer break it's however long you need to 
become refreshed, refresh your brain, and just get focused for the next study session. I'll usually take this time to um, actually go brew myself a cup of coffee because um, I, I absolutely love coffee. If you saw my, my one of my other videos, you'll see that I, I had one of my cool methods. So I'll, I'll go and, and, and spin up the vac pot and uh, I'll turn it on, heat it up, grind my beans. Uh, just the, the going through the process of doing something like that is relaxing for me. So it really helps me get focused and plus, you know, the caffeine and coffee just gets me in the right frame of mind for uh, my next study session. This, this method works and I kind of want to go into why you need to do this and why it works so well. As you know, studying for your CCNA or CCMP or any other IT certification is an overwhelming task. It's a, it's a big thing. There's a lot of concepts, a lot of things you have to go over. And um, I find myself just feeling completely spread thin when I think about everything I have to learn, especially at the beginning of, of learning a really hard concept or when you're at the beginning of just jumping into your certification when you got that extremely large book and you're just flipping into the introduction. I mean, T-shoot book, it's ridiculous. And the route book is a little bit smaller and the switch books, you know, a little bit smaller than that, but it's a lot of stuff. So I'll find myself feeling completely spread, uh, spread thin and I'll be overwhelmed. And this causes me to just kind of push studying off for that day. Cause I'm like, I need to just chill out. So I procrastinate. So what the Pomodoro technique does for you is it allows you to attack your studies in smaller battles and, and they're more manageable instead of just being overwhelmed by the war that is the CCNA or the CCMP. It's, it's completely a mind thing because I mean, it's, it's all a mind thing. This is your, your, the, the biggest battle in getting a certification is just getting over those mind hurdles of procrastination and, and feeling defeated and just finding the best method to to learn these concepts and staying motivated. Don't forget that. So if you, if you get home from work and or you're dealing with something and you're just completely stressed out, it's really really hard to convince yourself to uh, convince yourself to study. But you can more easily convince yourself to just knock out a quick 25 minute study session. You can just kind of you know, see it in your brain. Okay. 25 minutes, anybody can do something for 25 minutes. I can jump in and just do something real quick. On my weakest days, this is what I do. Um, I'll say, you know what, I'm exhausted today, but you know, I'll just do, I'll just do one 25 minute study session just to say that I've done something for the day. It's a really a beautiful way of tricking yourself into studying longer, which often happens, is I'll get into it. And I'm like, okay, well, I've already done this. Let's just do one more and then one after that. And before I know it, I've knocked out a significant amount of study time that evening. Um, another reason this really helps is it really helps with distractions, which is another one of my biggest battles. I mean, convincing myself to study is one of them, but once I'm in the zone, that's a very temporary placement. I can be dragged out of the zone very easily. I mean, if I'm like sitting there ex just completely exhausted and I'm like, huh, this concept is really killing me. And my wife's over there and she's watching Netflix and she, I can tell she wants me to join her. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and just study tomorrow. That's my biggest enemy. That's why step three in this process is so crucial to write down your distractions. You make it a point to put off any task until you're task you're focusing on is complete. If a distraction pops into your brain, you just you just squash it by writing it down, putting it out of your mind. And also, which this can happen often, you know, your wife might ask you to do something or your kids are bothering you and they want you to do something for them. Um, this is where you can use your productivity Jedi skills and tell them it'll be a moment. And now usually that doesn't fly so well because usually you have like an, uh, an open-ended or unended uh, study session. You don't know when you're gonna be done. You usually end up ignoring the request and not doing it. But if they know that it's just going to be a 25 minute session, that's more forgivable. It's more digestible. So they know at the most it'll be 25 minutes before you can help them with whatever they need help with. So it's really a great study method for people who are busy or who have distractions or who have families. Some quick helpful tips on this method. Um, again, it's a great method. I use it all the time and it really helps. And here's a few little hacks for it. Um, 25 minutes, it's just a template. You don't have to use 25 minutes. You can go longer. 30 minutes, 40 minutes, or even shorter than 25. Just don't do too long. I'd say probably 30 to 40 minutes is your max. But just experiment and uh, figure out what works. And also, if your breaks need to be longer, that's okay too. Uh, because it's all about you. How, how long do you need to kind of refresh your brain to take that break and kind of reprogram yourself to get ready for the next session? Just make sure a five minute break or a 10 minute break doesn't turn into, I'll do it tomorrow. Make sure it doesn't turn into that. And also what I find that helps for me is um, every session, I'll change up my location. Um, I find that um, it kind of removes some of the monotony of, of studying. Um, just kind of being in a different place helps you feel more energetic. So I'll, I'll usually rotate between my desk and my office um, to the kitchen table. 
um, and then maybe even outside when the weather's nice. Um, and then, you know, when I'm at work, I'll try to rotate between the break room or things like that. So there you have it, guys. Um, that's how to stop procrastinating and focus on your CCNA, CCMP st uh, studies. I encourage you to go back and look at my video, the seven CCNA, CCMP study tips to get a full scope of how you can just really dig into your studies. But this one focused more on just how to use the Pomodoro technique to avoid the procrastination and help you overcome those mental battles you have every day to stay focused and study. I so appreciate you guys watching uh, Network Chuck. It really inspires me to see all your comments and everybody subscribing and the engagement. And um, it really keeps me inspired, so I really appreciate it. Also, uh, listen to the comments below. Uh, list, list how you deal with your distractions and how you overcome the the monotony of study and how, how you how you stay focused and, and encourage yourself every day to get into it. So let me know in the comments below. We can all benefit from your expertise. I am not the only guy here who has ideas. You guys are experts as well. So if you haven't already, uh, please subscribe. Um, join the team here and uh, just leave comments below with any questions you have or what, what things you want me to cover. Um, I know watching videos like this really helps me stay motivated, so I'm, I'm hoping I can be that for you. And um, if you haven't already, go to networkchuck.com, um, subscribe there. I also have a, a page for resources, so if you're just getting started out and you don't know what materials to kind of go into, um, I have a page just for that, what books you can buy, what labs you can get into, um, whether you can buy it off Amazon or do like a, a learning lab thing with, um, with Cisco Learning Labs, which I'm going to try out, so I'll let you guys know how that goes. And, uh, just, and, and things like that. And I'll be posting more content on my website as well. So head over to networkchuck.com. I'll throw a link up somewhere. And um, that's about it. So again, I so appreciate you guys. Let's, uh, let's keep working. Let's keep striving towards the certifications. Um, I'm still working on my T-shoot. I'm feeling better about it, working on it. Anyways, guys, let's get certified together. Thanks for watching Network Chuck. I'll catch you guys later.